Hey my natural beauties, welcome back to my channel, it's Taya here. Today I'm going to be reviewing for you guys this beautiful unit that I have on. And I bought this unit sometime over the summer, earlier this year, and um, I posted a picture on Instagram, and I posted a picture on Facebook, and a lot of you guys actually thought it was a sewing. So I'm just going to be sharing with you guys um, some information about this unit, and hopefully it helps somebody if they want to buy the unit, you know, just to provide you guys with some information on this hair, because it is absolutely fabulous. <laughs> Okay, so first of all, let me just talk about the experience purchasing the wig. Now, I purchased the wig on Amazon and I bought the wig for $17 at the time, I believe. But you know, it's summer and a lot of these um, sellers are going to be having sales or having really low prices. So at the time, I paid $17 for it. I went to look back for the price today and it's now $24. So that's still a bargain, if you ask me, for a unit of this quality. I don't know, I'm not really like a wiggy type of person, but like, or yet. But, um, you know, I still think that's a bargain. You know, it's not like quality, quality hair. That's the reason why the price is like that. But at the same time, if you just want a really nice option for protective styling, this is perfect. It's really easy and all of that. Like, you don't have to deal with the hassle of dealing with it at all. So, $17 for me, total giveaway. You know, no stress at all. So, the seller that I bought it from is Favorite Mall. And the direct link to the wig will be in the description bar for you guys. So if you want to just go on over and look at it for yourself after you've watched this review, then you can go ahead and do that. I'm going to be leaving the link in the description bar. The delivery was timely. Um, I didn't have like any problems when it came. It was neatly packaged and everything was intact. I got everything that they said I should get in the box, which brings me to the packaging of the unit. So um, it comes in this box right here. I'm, I got it all dirty. This is makeup all over it right here. But it came really nice and clean in this box right here. And on the box it has like some different clippers of some hair and some stuff like that. And um, yeah, the box has a lot of information on it. Um, I will be inserting another clip for you guys to see the information a little better. But it basically has like the Melody Susie logo right here. And it also has um, the name of the wig which is the Melody Susie Boutique Natural Vogue Wig. So I'm guessing that's the model. The style of the unit however is Korean. That's the style. So this is kind of like a Korean cut with the nice um, fringe bangs and so on. So, the box also has information which they should have filled out when sending it. Um, information on the color of the wig and um, on the back it shows instructions on how to care for the wig and also what you should get when you open your box. You should be seeing the wig, um, you should also be seeing the wig comb and also the wig cap. So, yeah, or hairnet, whatever the hell they want to call it, yes. You should be seeing all of that in the box when you open the box. Alright, so onto the hair itself. I'm going to be inserting some specs on the hair. I believe, I haven't really checked the length because they have not mentioned it um, on hair. Um, it's probably like a 30 inch or something like that. But I will insert um, the specs on the hair in the video. So the color of the hair is dark brown. The texture of the hair is pretty much kind of like a Kanekalan or Tokalan um, texture, I believe. It's not human hair, it's synthetic hair. So um, they don't recommend that you um, heat style the hair, but I'm going to be getting um, onto that in a little bit. It, when initially when you take it out of the box, it smells very good and it also came with like waves in there, some nice loose waves. I straightened the hair with my flat iron and I probably will do a tutorial on how to straighten this hair. Um, but yeah, it pretty much comes like this. It's kind of like a funny layer cut. It goes from like short to really long. And I'm just going to stand up so that you guys can see it. It goes all the way down my back and to my tailbone. Alright, so it's really, really long, but some things that I absolutely dislike about this hair is the fact that it tangles really, really easily. It tangles too easily, but I've been able to deal with this because of the same experience with my Kanekalan crochet braids when I do install them. Kanekalan and Tokalan, synthetic hairs on, like, on, in a general sense, they do tangle really easily. And that's something that I really don't like, where you don't pay for, you know, it not to tangle. So, that's not really an issue for me. Now I actually appreciate the fact that after styling and detangling this hair for a while it will begin to get 
kind of trashy and you guys probably think it's weird that I actually appreciate that but I think it's really good because it starts to look a lot more natural over time the ends are really nice the really construction nice. of the unit is not bad um, it could have been sewn on a little tighter but um, yeah you know when you tug on the hair to detangle it or comb it through brush it through whatever you can feel it's not like all that secure at the roots so that's something that I also don't like it's not like incredibly unbearable or anything like that but yeah that's something that I don't like but I love the movement of the hair it has a lot of body even though I wish it was a lot fuller you can tell like this is all of it I was wishing it was a little more fuller even here but as I said it's a Korean cut it's a Korean style wig so they don't really like full full hair their hair in itself is actually thin Asian hair um, so it's good hair, you know, good quality hair. I like it. I like the movements. I like the body. It's just really nice. It's not stiff. It does have a closure right here, which I do need to fill out in terms of how I um, style my hair under the wigs so that the wigs lay. As you guys can see right here, it's a lot higher up than the center which is where I want to be really higher so I'm gonna have to work on that but the closure is pretty neat it's pretty neat it's not obvious it is kind of obvious but it's not like too obvious for you to be turned off or anything like that okay guys I hope you guys enjoy this video and of course if you liked it don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you have any video requests questions anything like that leave them in the comment section below also don't forget to head on over to Facebook and like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter and Instagram all at naturally miss Tyre. the direct links to my social media networks will be down in the description bar and don't forget to check out the description bar also for additional information that I didn't get to mention in this video it will be down there um, I'm also probably gonna put some links to some other cute wigs that you guys can buy um, yeah okay guys so of course I got so distracted with playing with these bangs that I forgot to tell you guys goodbye thanks again so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoy this I'll see you guys in the next one bye Mwah.